Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we have us another small back issue bin diving haul here. A lot of reprints again. Um, and I got two more of the Modern Wolverine run. So I'm up to issue 40 now. Like I said, I still have a little bit of a gap in the 20 area, the 20s area. Um, but I think I'm only missing like five books or something of that nature. So, so not too far off from having up to 40 off that run. So that's pretty cool. Um, show them off as I get to them, of course. Um, but like I said, this is going to be kind of the format going forward. I'll probably put out a video, you know, as I can or once a month, something like that. Uh, just of me, you know, finding some cool comics in the back issue bins or the dollar bins or the 50, you know, cent below bins, you know, all this kind of stuff. Cause that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing now as I'm out and about, um, you know, on my little adventures here and there, I'll check out comic shops here and there, you know, in different states or, um, whatnot close by to me. Uh, so very cool stuff. And, you know, it's helping me to work on some of my... My older runs that I'm trying to put together. Because uh, that's also what I'm trying to focus on more this year. Uh, but we are going to start off this haul with the reprint of a book that a lot of people were very familiar with. Uh, definitely a prominent story, even though it was only a two-issue arc in the actual Uncanny X-Men run. Uh, but very prominent story nonetheless. Um, you've had one of the X-Men movies that actually was basically Days of Future Past, which is what this book is. It is part one of Days of Future Past, Uncanny X-Men number 141. And I was actually surprised when I was reading the information about it, um, online. Of course, you can take this with a grain of salt, um, because it may not be accurate. I'm not 100% sure. But it had a lot of first appearances in it that I wasn't sure that that was actually their first appearances. Like, I felt like that some of these characters should have been a lot earlier um, in the run. But uh, it has first appearances of Rachel Summers, which makes sense. Um, Senator Kelly makes sense. But the ones that got me was Mystique and Destiny. I figured that they had already been in the run before that, but I could not find information of them being any earlier than this book. Um, so, if I'm wrong, correct me on that, of course. Um, it'd be interesting to know what their actual first appearance was if it was not this book. Uh, but then you also had Avalanche and Pyro from the, um, what is it, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants and whatnot, uh, that was in this book as well. But a very classic story, uh, about going into the future there with Kitty Pride and, and trying, you know, her, you know, basically trying to save mutant kind, uh, from the Sentinel overtake, um, but definitely a, a cover that has been, you know, repeated a lot in various books, uh, even X-Men books. Uh, but this was a John Byrne and Terry Austin cover. Um, but very cool to have this in the collection. It's definitely not one that I had. And following this up, we have part two of Days of Futures Past, which has another iconic cover here with the Sentinel blasting Wolverine as he holds Storm in his hand. Um, as you can see there, everybody dies in this issue. Not true, of course, because we know that, um, although that timeline, a lot of people did die, uh, the actual modern timeline, uh, for the most part, they did not until the, uh, later wipe, whenever they started weeding out a lot of the, the random X-Men characters they had just credited over the years and stuff. But very cool to have these reprints in the collection, um, definitely excited about them and rereading those stories again. And then I was fortunate enough to pick up one of these copies. I'd seen the rounds whenever they came out, um, on, uh, some of the channels I follow here on YouTube. Uh, some of these people had picked this up and I was like, oh, I would really like to get that. And I was fortunate enough to find a copy in the back issue bins. Um, but it is Wonder Woman number one. And this is from, like, 1942. Of course, this is the reprint. But this was her first solo series and volume one of the whole um, Wonder Woman run. Uh, maybe not as prominent as um, George Perez's run on Wonder Woman. That's probably the preeminent run of what established Wonder Woman. But this is definitely the Golden Age Wonder Woman. 
So very interested to see how this story actually plays out. And I'm glad to have it because there's no way I would ever be able to afford this actual copy. But it looks like you have her origin story here. And just some various stories of Wonder Woman in this book. Um, very cool though. Looks like this is uh, all Charles Moulton's um, Wonder Woman. But another one of those books that's, you know, presented in its entirety. So there may be some things that are not right as of today's standards. But, you know, it's it's historical accuracy. So I'm glad that they put it in there. Um, you know, because it, it does keep the comic the way that it was originally intended to be read. read. Um, so I like that about the way that they do these. Uh, reprints that you know especially DC's been doing here lately because I, I like seeing you know kind of a time capsule of things and also just the cool like ads and you know just things of the time you know they're pretty cool uh, seeing that kind of historical accuracy um, but very glad to have this in the collection and now we will get on to the two modern books here that are not reprints and like I said we are continuing on with the Wolverine uh, modern volume here by Benjamin Percy. And in this one you have him teaming up on a mission to Wakanda with the Black Panther. And it's more of the Fall of X. And this is Wolverine number 39. Probably a little hard for y'all to see that. I'm not really sure. It's it's hard for me to just tell on these camera. Um, you know, but nice to find it in the back issue bins. Like I said, just another one that I can um, continue my run with. This, I believe, was cover A. Of the run. And then we got number 40 of Wolverine. Unfortunately, it took a little ding in the top corner, but I'm okay with that. Uh, this was the Peach Momoko variant edition, the Nightmare edition, which it looks like he's got all the cables and stuff running through him from, you know, when he was having the Weapon X program on him. Kind of a funky looking cover, but, you know, of course that is Peach Momoko style, and I do, I do enjoy her style. A little iffy on this cover is whether or not I enjoy it. I'm still trying to figure that out. Because there are some aspects that are really cool. And then there are some that are kind of weird like his eyes. That is just kind of weird to me. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to have it in the collection either way. And like I said, I can continue reading the Wolverine arc of the Fall of X and everything. Uh, once I get the last few books I'm missing out of the Wolverine run. And then whatever comes after this. Because I not really been keeping up with what's been coming out, you know, other than what people show. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't show the new Wolverine book on the channels I watch. Um, which is fine. I mean, I'm not, you know, I like the books that they show, so not complaining at all. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really know where we're at and I haven't really looked because I, like I said, stopped kind of doing the pre-order thing. Uh, but with that, we are going to draw this, uh, small little, you know, haul here to a close. Um, for everyone that, you know, watched this video, even if it was short, thank you, um, for spending the time on the channel, uh, and if you made it to the end here, I really appreciate it, um, and just keep looking forward to more content coming out as, as I put it out, uh, like I said, there'll be a lot more of my gaming stuff, kind of, because it's easier for me to do, um, because it's not expensive, <laughs> you know, because a lot of the games I'm getting for cheap, or I have a bunch of them already, um, you know, it's just kind of filler, you know, comics are still my, my main passion outside of like, you know, taking trips and things like that. But, you know, like I said, just due to financial constraints this year and just trying to get myself in a better spot, uh, financially and mentally, you know, I'm, I'm just trying, you know, to cut back on a lot of things that I used to do a lot of. But I don't want to eliminate them entirely, you know, um, like I did with the comics before. You know, I'd taken a break because of family issues. And, you know, I'm glad to be back in it. I do love the comic community. It's great. Very close-knit, uh, friendly community for the most part. And, you know, like I said, I just will slowly be doing these hauls here and there. I'm not going to go crazy like I did at the end of last year when I was getting back into it. Um, and having a lot of books coming in uh, that I pre-ordered or picked up. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a little bit slower on the channel. But 
hopefully the content will be better because of the books that I am able to hopefully pick up. Because like I said, I will be trying to get a lot of the older books. So yeah, they may not be the greatest of quality, but it's things that I need to complete runs and I will be happy to get as long as they're you know, readable copies, of course. Because um, a lot of the books that I want to get are old. Uh, they are from... 80s and pre-80s some of them are from the 40s 50s kind of era i mean there's a lot of older books that i want to get slowly but surely so even if i have to save up my money and you know miss out on some hauls here and there you know when i go to comic book shops just to get a particular book that may be more expensive i'm probably going to focus on that more just because i do want to try to complete runs of some of these volumes um Definitely still going to try the, you know, complete the Wolverine runs that I'm missing. So there'll be some, you know, more modern books there with that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, like I said, I appreciate everyone for coming by and checking out the channel, checking out my hauls. And I hope that you have a great day, great week, great month, great year. You know, I just hope that everything is great for you and wish everyone all the best. And we're going to sign off now. So have a great day. Prime is out. Ma-zash. Weird technically things coming out of his mouth.